Hello, I'm Steve Sugg, sales recruiting expert and author of the book, Can They Sell? Welcome to my sales recruitment video blog, four minutes of learning to hire the best salespeople. In the first video, we learned that character is built in our past when we learn important life lessons from our parents. Personality is genetic and changes very little over time. And personality traits will determine the character traits that we will struggle with the most. In today's video, we'll look at four more principles of human behavior. The first principle. When we're working in a sales job that uses many of our ideal personality traits, it takes less energy and we're energized. If we're in a sales job that is not in line with our personality traits, we get tired quickly. You would see the same thing happen to a plow horse sprinting around a racetrack. It would not only take the horse a long time to get around the track, but it would most likely collapse before completing the race. However, that same plow horse would perform well working all day long pulling a plow. The second principle. Personality traits have a good side and a bad side. The same personality trait that allows us to confidently execute the sales process can also cause our prospects to view us as intimidating and unconcerned. Character traits cause us to discipline ourselves to use the good side of our personality traits so that relationships work and society works. The third principle. The more we fight selfishness, the easier it is to exercise the character traits during the sales process. From the time we're born, we struggle to walk that line between selfishness and concern for others. Just spend enough time with a two-year-old where you hear their favorite words, me and mine, and you'll agree with the premise that we are born selfish. While young, the more we're taught and disciplined by our parents, the more we become aware that relationships work better when we're more focused on others and less on our own selfish desires. The fourth principle, the level at which candidates have the right combination of character traits and personality traits will determine the level at which they will master sales skills. By measuring these traits throughout the sales recruitment process, we can predict mastery of sales skills. Keep in mind that just because someone can sell a lot, it doesn't necessarily mean they have all the character traits. Just think about the person who consistently hits their monthly target, but they're difficult to be around and they bring the morale of the team down with their negative attitude. On the other hand, many high character people never master sales skills because they don't have the right personality traits. You know that nice, trustworthy person who doesn't have enough social confidence to close the sale. Understanding these elements of human behavior will help us during the sales interview. With the right behavioral interview questions for sales and a good sales profile, like the Craft Personality Questionnaire, we can measure whether or not candidates have the character and personality trait combinations that we're looking for. We must measure both to predict success. Thank you for joining me. See you next time on the Can They Sell video blog for more sales job recruitment training. As always, please leave your comments below and forward this video to anyone who will benefit. If you haven't already, please register for this recruiting sales blog. Now go enjoy recruiting the best and have fun during the sales interview.